Hello. Hello. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, drug bag. Wow. Question number one. How beautiful does handle look right now? Oh. Me? I love when you put your hair up like that. Wow. In a ponytail? I think it's so, so pretty. Wow. Thank you. Question number two. How good does my skin look? I was just about, I wanted to do question number two and be like, how good does Shane's skin look? Because I tried to do a facial. I've like been getting his, facials, everyone. Like his fashion show makeup artist did. You've, you've a chapped lip. Oh, I know that. I know yeah. the lips. But other than that, I mean, come on. <laughs> it looks, at least close up, it looks so good. So basically, for today's Monday Go Bag, you are getting us at our peak attractiveness. I don't know. Hope, I just dry shampooed my hair because it's a little greasy. I don't, I don't know. I hope you appreciate how hot we are uh -huh. for all of you today. Okay. All right, Monday Go Bag, this is the series where we answer all of your most burning questions. Where do we get those questions, Anna? We get them from the comment sections of our Monday Grab Bag videos. So if you'd like your question answered, you can comment on this video or and, any of the other ones. Yes, and, and if you've been watching Monday Grab Bag, we've been doing it for like three months now, I think. Yeah, quite if a If you still don't know how it works, pay more attention. Well, maybe this is their first Monday Grab Bag. Shape. If you're brand new, welcome. Yeah. This is a place of love, okay. attractiveness. But learn how it works. But fix yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the first question. Hannah doesn't know these, so... Uh, I <laughs> need a minute to compose myself. Hello. 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 Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. Okay, Shane, this question, it hits a little too close to home because of an incident we recently had, uh, yeah. like yesterday or the day before. I love when they question perfectly matches up with an experience. Real life events. And to show you that like, I'm not just making up these questions, search them. Like you can go on our previous videos and use command F oh. and look up the words that are in these questions. I don't know, but it probably doesn't load all of the comments. Well, it might take some digging, but yeah. they're all there. Okay, Shane, we believe you. What, okay. Question number one. <laughs> What does Hannah do if you have to go number two and it's super stinky? Does she put a mask on? LOL, I'm assuming she helps you stay on the toilet. Serious question. So, I will give a little background and then you can tell them about okay. the recent experience. Uh -huh. Hannah does lift me onto the toilet yeah. when I need to go number two. Yeah. I have at home a backrest that I strap into. Yeah, it has a little belt. So that Hannah doesn't need to stand there and just sniff my wonderful scents the whole time. Mm -hmm. But when we travel, it's not easy to bring that along. So it's like, it's screwed into the toilet. So we don't bring it. And in those scenarios, Hannah puts me on the toilet and then helps me stay balanced while I go. Yes, and a little bit more, a little bit deeper into that, Shane can balance on the toilet. However, like if he were to lose his balance, he would crack his head open on the floor. So it's important that like I am in the vicinity to, yeah. to make sure he doesn't fall off. I'm very careful about toileting because when I was little, I did fall off the toilet one day when I insisted to my parents, I was like five, and I insisted that I didn't need my strap that holds me on, mm. fell right off, <laughs> banged my head on the cupboard. Oh. Anyway, okay. So Hannah holds me. Okay. What is it like when it really smells? Well, let's talk about a specific example that happened two mornings ago. We were in a hotel. Yes. And I woke up at the crack of dawn. Yes. With stomach distress. Yeah, it was like 7.30 in the morning. Our alarm was set for 8. You know, we were on vacation. It was a nice slow morning. No. So I am woken up by Shane at 7.30 being like, Hannah, I have to go to the bathroom. Hannah, something is brewing. Uh -huh. And I have this thing where if I stand in the morning for too long, I feel like I will pass out. Like right really, when she wakes up. Yeah, I get really lightheaded. And it, it you know, that that's like a thing that happens to me all the time, but it's really bad in the morning. And both of us know this. Like, so as soon as he said that, I was like, oh God, like, of all the times, this is not a good time. But I'm like, okay. So I get out of bed, I carry him to the toilet. I'm feeling awful, like my whole body is like aching. I really need to sit down. And hold on, just from my perspective, we've done this 
plenty of times. Yeah. I am well aware that, like, helping me go poop at 7 a.m. is not a fun, amazing activity. <laughs> We're not going to pretend. Like, yeah. it's always just like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Like, I knew it was like, not we fun. Like, we weren't talking. We were just no. getting it done. But. It was fine. I was not prepared for mid emptying. Mm-hmm. For Hannah, Shane to, began to yeah. begin kind of wobbling yeah. and saying to me, I'm going to throw up. Yes. I'm going to pass out. There was a combination of I was going to pass out and a combination of both from standing and then the smell. I was like, oh my God, I'm actually going to throw up. Like, I'm going to throw up and then I'm going to pass out. You said I'm going to throw up and I was like, oh, haha, ha, yeah, it does smell. Like. Yeah, and then I sat down. And then you sat down on the floor. And I was like, oh, she's like not okay. And I was like head between my knees. And because I didn't want Shane to fall off the toilet, I was sitting, you know, with my head between my knees as far away from him as possible. But I had one hand up like to his side in case he were to fall. <laughs> and I'm like kind of wobbling. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, not really. I wasn't unsafe. Yeah. But like, you know, trying to balance. Yeah, you're like, oh boy. Like help her and still go. Just, this is TMI, we're both naked, <laughs> which I didn't just the image of all of this is amazing. I didn't even think about yeah, that. You're just, we're both naked, we're both just like, uh, I'm like, ugh, because my stomach hurts. Hannah's like, ugh, because I'm, you know, hurting her with my smell. Yeah. It was a, it was a fun little adventure. Oh. But we lived. And then it was fine. Yeah, and then it ended. And we, you know, we got back in bed. Opened all the windows in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, to answer your question, that's what that's what I do if Shane has to go. I've seen comments on our channel before saying that we, like, make caregiving into this, like, wonderful, fake uh -huh. reality that it's not. Uh -huh. I don't think we do. No, I don't think we do. We always share the, like... I know. The stuff say on my But I think, they're, I think they're saying that I should be, like... And it was the worst moment of my life. And then I divorced them. Yeah, it's like distressing <laughs> to them that I like we're not bothered by caregiving, you know, because they're they just have a very different perspective than us. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was gross and not fun. Yeah. In the moment, did we laugh really hard about it later that day? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think that's why we get along so well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number two. Wow, you're really on a roll. Who picks Shane's nose? So I am not able to. Pick my nose independently. Hannah will roll up a tissue. Roll up a tissue is not a phrase most people are. There's tissues right there. You want to demonstrate? Sure. I mean, not all the way. We don't need to insert. I won't. I won't demonstrate the whole thing. We take a tissue. Stick your finger through the middle. You're getting all the TMI. You don't today. pierce it. Just you know, to to make a little tissue ghost, and then we. Twist it. I think that's pretty self-evident. To create a kind of rolled up rolled tissue. Rolled up digger. And that goes in my nose. Yep. And then twist. And you know what? Before I knew you, I didn't think that this would work. This gets any booger. Like, I don't understand the yeah. Like the physics of how that works. The keywords on this video are going to be amazing. Oh, God. Booger. Uh -huh, diarrhea. Sorry. But yeah, it works really well. There you go. And no fingers are needed. When I am sick, and home alone, mm. Hannah will occasionally take the tissue and rubber band it to the end of a straw yeah. so that I have a mechanism for to wipe your nose. wiping my own nose. Yep. So there you go. Look at that. What's a topic that you, asking both of you, could talk about for hours on end and or always get passionate when talking about it? Ooh. That's a good question. I forgot I put this on and now I don't have a good answer. Oh, I have a good answer. Food. You could talk about food. I could talk about food and cooking hmm. and recipes and restaurants endlessly. I love food and I love talking about food. I think for like the two of us talking together, I would say like uh, injustices. You know, like I think we can like talk about that for a really long time. Personal or like bigger? Bigger. Yeah. Typically bigger. We'll talk about things that we think are messed up and yeah. we'll get... We can talk about it for hours. <laughs> and then also for Hannah, Toontown, Neopets, Sims. Those are outdated references. Civilization. To Civilization is the one that you should be talking about now. I will talk about that. Her video games. But I don't really want to talk about it. I'll just go play. Like, if you have a question, Google it. <laughs> um, has Shane ever been in an argument with Liz? I had to wrap my brains 
I rack Tanner's brains. I rack Liz's brains. No. No. Liz and I get along really well. Yeah. Like, better than Hannah and me. Well, my mom and I are very, very similar. And I think because we're married, we fight, you know, we like, we're comfortable just being a little bit ruder to each other. To each other, yeah. You know, and so like you and my mom get along as well as you and I do, but you don't have that like, let's just be really rude to each other. Like you're just nicer to each other. So you are, you know. And there's never been any animosity for any reason. Yeah. We see eye to eye on some things that Hannah and I don't see eye to eye on that involve like organization and planning, things like that. And because of that, there have been moments where Liz and I have been accused of ganging up on Hannah, and that like caused problems. Yes. As you can imagine. Well, yeah. Some like Shane will like outwardly just take my mom's side in an argument and be like, "I agree with her," and I'm yeah. like, "Are you kidding me right now?" I've learned not to do that. Yeah. Now Shane, that that was years ago. Shane does not do that anymore. And I was like, if my mom and I are having an argument. You are not a part of that argument yeah. until inevitably Hannah brings me into the <laughs> argument to be like, see Shane, don't you agree with me? And then I have and you, to... your job is to say yes. My husbandly duty is to say yes. Hannah is correct. Love you, Liz. You're, <laughs> you're right, Liz. But Hannah is correct. Yeah. All right. When you first met in person and started spending time together, was there a habit that you were worried to let the other one know about? Ooh. Do you want me to do your first C? Yeah, I got I feel like it's not fair that I know these. I know, I need, I need more time. Go right. ahead. I think mine was the fact that when I sleep at night, I drool a lot. Like, I'm a drooler, <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it, and it involves Hannah having to, like, grab a tissue and wipe my pillowcase when mm-hmm. I wake up in the morning. I thought it would terrify her and gross her out and make her, you know, run the other way, but shot her, she was like, oh, whatever, I'll just yeah. wipe it. Like, not a big deal. And I'm not a big spit person, but, no. it, you know, it was fine. For not being a big spit person, you married the worst person. I know. <laughs> That's all right. It learned, I was, what is that, like, exposure therapy, where you just, like, are exposed to uh-huh. what you don't like? It was that. Um, I think for me... I like that's I mean drooling is kind it's not really a habit not a habit but it is but, a thing yeah. like for a habit for me and this isn't really a habit either it's more of an interest um but like one of my favorite things to do and it has been this way my entire life is to typically in a bathroom because that's a door you can easily close I like Where's this to, <laughs> <laughs> I like to just like sing along to songs and oh, yeah. I will do that for like an hour or two every day like loud sing yeah like belt you know I will just like like a mini concert that I will do for myself and so I think that is something that I definitely did not do for the first I, didn't I know. like I eased you into it I'd be like oh I'm just kind of like humming to myself oh. and then I'd be like oh I'm like singing quietly in the, in the bedroom and then like and then like now you're like I'm gonna go sail yeah <laughs> I feel like I'll be back in an hour <laughs> Um, and I didn't know, like, Hannah kind of kept that from me for a while, (laughs) and I didn't know how talented of a singer she was until while she was at college, she sent me a video randomly one night Mm. of her and her friend playing the piano and singing, and it was incredibly good, and I was like, wow, like, more of that, please, (laughs) and I didn't doubt somebody trying to be damn light. Yeah. I realized, oh, Hannah likes to sing like this part of her. And now I'll sing a lot. Yeah. It's not embarrassing at all. <laughs> well, it's a little, I mean, especially because it, it was just a lot. Yeah. You know, it's like, I loved, <laughs> it's not casual. Uh-huh. It's a very intense passion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <clears throat> have you heard from any reformed or repentant horrible trolls who have seen the error of their ways and beliefs after watching more of your videos? Yes. yes. And it is the best feeling. Yeah. It gives us all the motivation we need to keep doing this YouTube channel. Yeah, it really is great. And that's happened a couple of times. Yeah, where a troll will send us a message and say, hey, I used to write really mean things about you guys, or I didn't believe in your relationship, but now that I've watched more and learned more, 
I realized that I was being ignorant yeah. and closed-minded. And some of the times we'll, we'll recognize the usernames. You know, we'll be like, oh, we've seen your comments. Yep. <laughs> and, I, you know, that's super rare on the internet for someone to say I was wrong. Yeah. So it's, it, I mean, it's big of those people to, like, admit that they were being mean and now they're thinking differently. So yeah. really appreciate that. Absolutely. And it gives us all the joy in the world to know that we're helping people understand disability in a more positive way. Yep. So, is that our last one? That was our last question. We're done. That happy, was our Monday grub bag. Happy Monday, everyone. Yep. Have a great Monday. Have a great Tuesday. Yeah. Have a great Wednesday. And we have our Thursday video ready. Ready have, to go. So you can look forward to that. Great Thursday. Have a great Friday. Okay. 